I wanted to do a little contemplation exercise because this is how you grow in not only knowledge and intelligence, but wisdom. And Amaya brought home a dragon fruit, which I had, I've never eaten a dragon fruit that I can remember. And it does taste very similar to a bland kiwi, which is one of my favorite fruits to eat. But in contemplating, I had some other ideas about this particular fruit and how it might be used symbolically and teaching negative things because you know sometimes you need to understand the way people who are against you think but um it's called a dragon fruit and so i like to just kind of look at it and contemplate it it's a lot more fun than some of the other stuff that y'all focus on and the color of it and then why do they call it that that's my biggest thing is why did they name it dragon fruit and what came to me are the characteristics, which is this red on the outside with these green leaves. On the inside, the meat is white with black seed. So I want you to take a minute to just contemplate that and come up with your own ideas about where the name came from. And then you can look it up and see what is said about the origin. But some of us know that there's another meaning behind that, especially related to dragons. And if you are a religious person, um, specifically the Bible, the Torah, or the Quran, or you are a social political racist or have been in the past, then there is another connotation to dragon that might give more meaning to that. So it's just something to contemplate because these are the other things that help bridge your thoughts into other things that might allow you to um, investigate and become more wise about situations and circumstances around you. Where did the name come from?